Okay, my daughter and I are out uh, for the day getting film of wildflowers for my, my students for their online class. And the one she's filming right now uh, is the red trillium. And why it's different than the white trillium? Red trillium is actually like a more acidic soil. Uh, usually, actually, no, don't eat the grass, dog. Angels eating grass, I guess, okay. just gonna throw up. The difference between the white trillium and, and the red trillium, the red trillium actually attracts pollinators, that being insects, by its smell. It actually smells like dead flesh. It stinks. Like the jack in the pulpit, like things like that. So, uh, yeah, it's, um, that's how it pollinates. And, and have a look. Oh, the petals are off already. Yeah, typical teenage daughter. I was talking about edible plants, and what did she think I was talking about, Kyla? Why are you talking about edibles? Yeah, edibles, meaning marijuana edibles. Like, like gummy bears and things like that. No, I'm talking about wild edibles, Kyla. Kids these days. <gasps> white trilliums, white trilliums. Whoa. Beautiful. Okay, well, Kala is filming those. I'll explain white trilliums. So white trilliums, um, they became Ontario's flower, I think, in 1937. When, uh, I forget who did it, but they, they named it the, the, the flower of Ontario. Because, well, for various reasons, but one main reason is that three leaves, uh, England, Scotland, Ireland. And that's why they chose it. It, uh, it takes seven years for it to mature enough to actually uh, pollinate. So, um, yeah, interesting. All right. And they're one of the first to come out. They actually come out before the leaves come out on the trees. Once the leaves come out and, and uh, cloud them out, they don't get the sunlight, sunlight and the leaves, or sorry, and the, and the flowers fall, fall apart. Um, so we have the first out. Quit eating grass, dog. Okay. So the next one is trout lily. And it's called trout lily because the, uh, the leaves have a marking like the back of a speckled trout. Perpiculum? Uh, no, that's the proper, improper name. But basically it's the tiger pattern that's on a trout so uh, they're uh, they come up in the spring they have a white or not a white flower gosh I'm getting anything wrong kind of uh, it has a yellow flower and early uh, early bloomers and um, yeah really popular in uh, a mixed deciduous and carnivorous forest and I I heard I'm not gonna go too much about edibles because I'm not an expert so I don't want to go and tell you what to eat and have everything wrong but I do know you can eat trout lily I do know also it doesn't it tastes kind of bitter, so <laughs> why eat it? So here's trout lily. And here's Angel. <laughs> Mosquitoes are out. Okay, the next is poison ivy. Now the leaves aren't out yet that I see. Um, that doesn't mean to say you can't get it. Leaves are three, let it be. I'm gonna show you that the berries, uh, last year's berries. And uh, yeah, if you brush yourself up against those berries in the, in the stem right now, you'll get poison ivy because it's the oily uh, sap that you get the poison ivy from. Here we go. So another thing about poison ivy, some people say, oh no, I won't get it. I, I you know, bathe in it, I won't get it. You will get it, everybody gets it. And it's a seven year itch. So when you get it, it stays in your blood system for at least seven years. So you can actually go near it and actually it will react again with what's left over in your bloodstream. True fact. Another poison ivy fact. Uh, the First Nations people used to use it in warfare. <laughs> they used to burn it with the wind going towards the enemy and then they'd get poison ivy in their lungs. Nasty. Another true fact. My dad used it as toilet paper once when we were out fishing. He was in the hospital for a while. I can't make this stuff up. So what we have behind us is marsh marigold. Uh, it's actually not a marigold. It doesn't belong in the marigold family, but they still call it marsh marigold. It's one of the first to come out in the marshes in the spring. Beautiful uh, yellow flower, broad leaves with a bit of edge on them. Angel, come, come. Okay, we got another plant, it's called horsetail. Uh, you see it along wet areas, along even the side of the trails or the sides of marshes. It is, this is last year's growth. And segmented, and actually, if you cut it, there's like an aloe in it. 
makes a really good shampoo actually. So horse tail. I guess it looks like a horse's tail. It's really common though. So this is uh, Angel's first time off a leash in weeks. So every time I take her for a walk, there's people around and for good reason to keep her on the leash, right? But Kyle and I found a little animal trail through the woods here. So no one's around and Angel gets to go running and swimming and sniffing. <laughs> the dog is not meant to be on the leash, sorry. She's a, she's a half a border collie and golden retriever. The border collie boy you got. Yeah, there's wild leeks here. I smell them. There's one, right there. Oh, I missed the whole root itself. Dang nabbit. Uh, I, I didn't get the whole thing. The bulb itself is stuck under this root here and I can't get it out. So that's wild leek. Oh, it smells good. Wow. Fantastic find, and I could smell it off the trail before I even saw it. You smell that, Kai? Wow. You want to taste it? No. It's good. Yep, wild leak. <laughs> really strong, leaky tasting. <laughs> okay, uh, we saw this along the roadside, uh, and it's May apple. It's usually in a um, deciduous woodlot, but it's on the road side of the road, country road. It has a white flower, yellow in the middle. But then, uh, everybody's wondering why I'm stopping here. They're all looking at me. <laughs> uh, but it has, um, the fruit of it looks like a little mini apple. Now, they say you can eat that apple at a particular time uh, through uh, when it's ripe. If it's not ripe though, it will kill you. So don't even bother, all right? So here's my apple. And it doesn't have a flower yet, but there's the flower and that will turn into the fruit. May apple. Lots of it too. Kyla, why are people looking at me when I just stop along the side of the road just to film flowers? Isn't that normal? I'll let you answer that. Alright, yeah, I think they wonder what I was doing. <laughs> I found a grow up. <laughs> 